Want to know how to get the best hammer early in the game for Elder Rings? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the battle hammer, where you need to go get it, and what you need to do. If you like how that sounds, please like the video as it helps us a lot with the algorithm. So let's begin. Check out how awesome this hammer looks. I mean, it's overwhelming. The size of it is huge, but it deals a nice damage on the enemy. As you see here, I'm just showing it off for you guys of how good it looks and you got to go get this hammer now. And the good thing about it is that you can get this really early in the game. So what you need to do is open up your map and you're gonna go where I'm showing you here. It's called the Murkwater Catacombs cave as you see here i'm highlighting it all you gotta do is just go there i'm showing you where exactly you need to go before we get to the cave you're gonna come to this location where you need to drop off now the best thing i found out is by riding a horse the reason why is i found out a little trick that if you're riding a horse how it has that double jump well as you see here i'm jumping from the cliff but I am not dying and my horse is not dying because I do the little double jump right before I hit the floor and I'm smooth landing. So I'm able to do that and then just follow what I'm, where I'm going through and just skip all the different type of enemies and just get to the cave. Once you enter the cave, you're going to be dealing with three different type of enemies. In each section, you need to defeat them. The best thing just to do, you know, it just all depends on what type of class you're using. I'm using the samurai, so I'm just dodging and killing them. I clear them completely, so I'm just going to show you a smooth run, what you need to do. You need to defeat the first section. Once you're in the second section, you're just going to pull on the lever. It's going to open another door where you need to go to, and you're going to be facing another type of enemies once you defeat them you're gonna go through the door and as you go through the door you're gonna be facing a boss fight now he is going to drop the best hammer <laughs> and you gotta get this so early in the game is that's the good thing about it and it's called the battle hammer once you defeat him he's gonna drop this battle hammer and you're gonna be able to equip it. The best thing to do here, the boss has two different strikes. One of them, he um, does like a really hard hammer on the floor and gets stuck for about a couple of seconds. That's when you are able to do some damage to him. Another one is when he swings in there, in that section, you need to take advantage and also do like a quick um, hit on him. It just all depends on what type of class you're using. If you're using magic or if you're using arrows, or using a samurai sword, whatever you're using, just see the mechanics. I already kind of explained to you how his mechanics are. So once you defeat him, you're gonna get this nice, awesome hammer. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this hammer? I think it was cool. I think it looks really cool. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications for more Elden Ring videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.